guys of whatever website you're coming from. Um, this is a quick tutorial, and I mean quick because this is the third time I've recorded this because I forgot to click the record button last time. So, this is a quick tutorial on how to mod uh, Project M. This will let you easily and very kid-friendly uh, install custom skins, custom stages, custom music, and do all of it very quickly on not only your Wii, but also on your computer. So, let's get started from the very basics. Um, these links are all going to be inside of the um, description. So you're going to need to download the Brawl Costume Manager, the Brawl Stage Manager, the Brawl Song Manager, uh, Win Image, whatever version works for your computer, Dolphin, uh, you know, the latest version is going to be linked, um, Brawl Box, uh, and this is just some useful links. We'll get back to those later. You're also going to want to go ahead and download the custom build folder, the gecko folder, and the sd.raw folder. Okay. Now the basic thing with these is just install all of these ones in, you know, this thing thing here. However, once you have uh, the custom build, the gecko, and uh, sd.raw downloaded, what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to want to install Dolphin first thing first that's the first thing you want to install so get all these programs installed install dolphin first then install these programs okay so once those are all installed on your program I mean your computer uh, take sd.raw that you downloaded make sure it's not in the zip folders just sd.raw okay then you're gonna want to find uh, users your name dot my documents dolphin emulator we and that's where we're gonna put the sd.raw okay so put that there and then you're going to take um, the Gecko 1931 and the custom build folder, and you're going to put both of those inside of just the Dolphin emulator folder, it, it, just in there, okay? So, once you've got all that, we're going to pretty much just get started, okay? So, open up Dolphin. Once you've got Dolphin open, you're going to want to have, um, you're going to also need, I forgot to mention this, you need a Brawl ISO. Get it? It's illegal to, you know, hand them out, but you can find them on Google. I'm not saying you should, because it's illegal, but you know what I'm saying. Um, it's possible. So, once you have that installed, go to config, I mean, once you have that downloaded, go to config and dolphin, then paths, and then add, and just, um, add your dolphin folder in my documents again, and you're gonna, because that's where you're gonna want to put the ball ISO. So, once that you do that, it will show up inside of your directory here, okay? Right-click it once you see it, and click Set as Default ISO. And then go to Config again, and go to Wii, and then click S Insert SD Card, okay? Make sure it's checked. Once that's all good, what you can do now is click Open on Dolphin, and then if uh, in your Dolphin folder where you put the Brawl ISO, you'll find that Gecko folder that you had uh, installed. So I have Gecko here. So I'm going to open up Gecko, then HBC, Gecko 1931, and then boot.elf. And if I open that now, I can uh, run Project M on my computer. Congratulations. So, um, you know, that's how to run a Project M on your computer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get ahead and uh, get to modifying Project M, which is what you came here for in the first place. So congrats to you on that. <laughs> so let's start off with costume modding, because... um. There's no reason to do them out of order. It's not really in order, but that's usually... I don't know. It doesn't matter. Okay, anyway, open up the costume manager that you downloaded and click Change Directory. Then find the custom build folder that you have in your Dolphin thing, okay? So once you have that downloaded, I mean, uh, opened up, you're going to see this list on the left with all these character names, okay? Before you do anything, click Options, then Project M 3.0 Mappings. Check that. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to install on a custom skin, okay? So, um, let's say I like Kill Kill, because I do. So, I'm going to open up a file with Ryuko here. And she has outfits. And the cool part is, so now let's say I'm open up episode 14, okay? And you have these files here. Um, it doesn't matter what they're named, or if they're a PAC or PCS file, because they're going to be one of them. But it doesn't even matter, because the program will automatically convert them for you. Which is really easy, as I said before. So, Ryuko goes over Ike, because you can see it says Fit Ike, and if you couldn't see that before, whenever you're on Brawl Vault, which I will, again, you know, link, so let's say, for example, Peach here, 
On this peach page, you can see it says character texture peach. That's how you know it goes over peach. So if you're ever confused, just look there. Uh, Rico goes over Ike. So now all I have to do is go to, in this here, I'm going to find Ike in the list. And I'm going to open up uh, Ike 03, okay? So now I've got the blue Ike here. Um, and we're going to drag any of these files, it doesn't matter, one of them, into this blank window in the middle of the whole custom manager. And you'll see Rico or whatever model that you downloaded appear there, okay? And, and somewhere inside the downloaded file that you have, there'll be big images and small images, okay? The big image, you're going to want to just drag it right ahead over the uh, big images inside the manager on the right of the model, okay? Then you open up B BP, or, you know, the small images, <laughs> and just, again, drag it right over the uh, characters, like the top right one. That's the small one. So now... We have the images and the model for a character dragged in here. So, what we're going to do to save that is click save on the top right, save on the bottom right, and save on the leftward one, and then it will save everything, okay? The model is already automatically saved, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close out of the model editor. And now, when you have win image uh, downloaded, you're going to click OK. It's going to give you that warning to, like, you know, buy it, but you never have to buy it. Just don't worry. So, once you have it open, click File, Open, and then find your sd.raw inside of your Wii folder, okay? And open that up. Now, you're going to delete everything inside of there, because it's going to be the exact same as the, the custom build folder that you downloaded. So, then, click Image, Inject a Folder, and then uh, you're going to find your custom build folder. Just click on the very, the, you know, click on the custom build folder, and click OK. And then... It's going to insert everything here, and then it's going to show a bunch of files. Click Control S. Now you've saved that custom SD card, which is what a uh, raw file is. So now if I go back into Dolphin and open up that boot.elf again, I'll load up Project M as usual. But now, we're going to go ahead and open up and go to Ike, and let's see. Now I've got Rigo over Ike. If I go in game... There it is! The model works correctly over Ike, as intended. And, yeah, so, again, not, it says expected, so. I really want to smash Pikachu. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> So, that's how you install custom character models into the game. That works the same for pretty much every character as long as you're using the right type of files, okay? So, just make sure you're using the right ones, and you can tell which color is which by looking at the images on the character, okay? So, now, we're going to go ahead and do stage modding next. So, open up the stage manager that you downloaded, and then once it's open, click File, Change Directory, and then find the custom build on your uh, wherever you put it inside of your dolphin thing okay and then you're gonna see a list on the left of all these stages and you're like whoa there's stages man so um for example i'm gonna use battlefield and I'll replace it with big blue okay a custom big blue that um that was finished by hope for a new day i did some modifications to it um and so this image on the top right here is what you're going to see on the top of the stage select screen. This panel is what you're going to see as the panel, and you can rec recognize it in there. This stage file here is actually a model. You can drag it around and right click, and it shows you what the stage looks like pretty much. If it looks weird, don't even worry about it. Most stages look weird uh, inside of uh, the, mo the model previewer. Um, so now, what we're going to do is, <clears throat> we're going to take the... Um, uh, the stage file here, okay? So, now, big blue, we're gonna go ahead and drag it onto Battlefield. This, this rel file here, okay? So, what we're gonna see is when we, when we see that, it's gonna say Battlefield. And, uh, it will be red here. And then, all you're gonna do is click the big red button, and it will not be red. <laughs> then, after it's not red, take the, um, pack file, which is in all caps, that's your stage, 
and drag it onto the window uh, and click replace. So um, now you have the stage and rel, which is the module, inside of there. To replace the image, take usually the uh, downloads will come with an image, so just drag it over the big image, click OK, and then take your small panel and click, drag it over the panel, click OK. And they'll sometimes include name files and uh, little images like this too. Doesn't matter right now, so um, let's click Save Common 5 and then Update Menu Main. And then update cell character 2. The update menu main and cell character 2 are in the tools tab, okay? So after that's saved, click X and click yes on the save before quit. And then open up win image again, okay? And click SD. And now we're going to do the same thing again. Delete everything and inject your custom folder. Inject the folder and custom build. And it will inject everything. And click Control S, which will save it again. So I'm going to go back inside here again, and we're going to launch up the game. Um, if you're going to set up a keyboard modif uh, configuration, unless you have a GameCube converter, I know how to use the keyboard fairly well in here. So, play for you or not. So now, uh, over Battlefield, I have. Big Blue! Congratulations! See? So, that's how you do stage modding. So now we've learned stage modding and character modding, and it only took, I don't know how long this has been, a few minutes though. So, pretty simple, right? Um, after you hit, so now what we're gonna do is do, we're, gonna be, we're gonna do music, okay? So open up the song manager, file, change directory, and go to custom build again. So now you're gonna see nothing, which looks, you know, kind of stupid. Click options, and then group songs by stage, and a huge list will come up. So we're gonna replace the Battlefield song with the Campfire song song from SpongeBob. Um, you can replace, I mean, you can convert any .wav or a WAV or WAV file. Uh, into a BRSTM, which is the staged type of music that's used inside Brawl and Project M, obviously. So, this is a WAV I have of the Campfire Song song. I'm going to drag it into here over X04. So now when it says enter file name, we're going to type X04. Okay? And this window is going to come up. If you are importing a BRSTM, it will do it automatically and you will not have to loop this manually. Um, this is only if you want to create music. So, um, now, I'm going to go ahead and click play, and then I can drag through, and it's the campfire song song, okay? So if you want songs to loop, you're going to click, you when it's playing, you can click this, this star right here on start, uh, click that, and it will choose the starting point of the loop. Now, if you click the ending point of the loop, and then you have a start and stop, so let's say I go before the end of the loop, and I play into the end of it. And it will start at the beginning of the loop. I didn't loop it correctly because I'm lazy right now and I'm just doing a tutorial. But if I click OK, it will save that and convert it. And there we go. It's inside the game. Now, it's not named in the game yet, so I'm, I'm going to highlight Battlefield here and type the campfire song song. And it's gonna, if you want, ask if you want to overwrite, click yes to everything. And click tools, update MU, menu main, okay? And then click yes to overwrite. It will overwrite everything. And then you can exit out once you're done uh, importing any songs that you want to do. So again, we're going to go into an image. Okay. File. Open. SD. Delete everything. And then click inject folder. Custom build. And then click save. Control S. Doesn't matter. Once it's, once it's all there, just save it. Then we're going to open up the boot elf again, which will open up Project M. And then I'm going to, you know, go to the Battlefield song list, and it will show the Campfire Song song, and it will play the Campfire Song song. So I'm going to Battlefield, which is Big Blue, Campfire Song song. Congratulations. And there you go. So, that's how you do songs, stages, and characters.
And that, I, I doubt that took a brown, probably, I've been talking for around a half hour, maybe. I don't know, probably, probably less than that. But that's how you do it. Um, I made it really simple. I hope you guys, like, you know, know what you're doing at least a little bit now. Uh, a few things to note now. Um, if you're getting a loud buzzing noise, that means that you installed the file wrong or it's corrupted. Okay? That's as simple as it is. Just need to get a different file or learn how to install it right. If you think you are doing it right, then it's corrupted. Just get a new one. Too bad if it doesn't work, because that means it doesn't work. Uh, if you're getting a freeze and no noise, it means that the, the, the game's looking for a file that doesn't exist, and so it's stuck there. So let's say you had a stage that was um, missing its pack file inside of the stage directory, which is where you put all those little files uh, for the stages. Then, let's say I was missing one for Big Blue, and I tried to uh, load it up. It would just freeze there with no noise. It's a missing file. Um, that pretty much covers all the different freezing things. Um, important things to note, do not put characters over different characters because they won't, sometimes, I mean, they'll probably work, but they uh, will look weird, will move weird, or will not work correctly. Or will freeze. You know, or all of the above. <laughs> You're going to start that really quickly. Okay, so this is now a, a simple way of uh, editing your mod file without having without having to worry about corruption and being able to do it a lot faster okay so your custom build folder we're gonna treat it as the output as in the safe finished good to use folder that you're gonna give people of your build okay now the cool thing about this build file that I've already set up for you is that it will work homebrew and hackless okay so um, that's good because if you have homebrew, you can use it with homebrew. If you have hackless, you can use it with hackless. If you're playing it hackless, important note: keep it under 1.8 gigabytes because that is around how big a 2 gigabyte SD card actually is. Kind of a ripoff, I know, um, but that's just how it works. So if you want your thing to work with everyone, just keep it around there. That's usually safe. Okay, at least under there. If you want to get dangerously close, go to 1.8. I'm usually at that because I'm dangerously close, but I don't have man I don't have man man Fuck. I know how to manage files. <laughs> so, um, now, we're going to talk about uh, safely editing files. So, um, open up your sd.raw with a win image, okay? Then open up the costume manager. And let's say I'm going to do Ryuko, okay? So now what we're going to do is, instead of uh, our custom build, we're going to change the directory to the desktop, okay? So open up bike and then go to my Ryuko folder and I'm take uh, SNK uniform and I'm gonna go to Ike zero because it's the first Ike it's the easiest one to know and this isn't a permanent replacement so it doesn't matter anyway so put that over fit Ike O and close out of it then afterward you'll notice there is a folder on your desktop called Ike what's good about this is we can go to project MPF fighter Ike and then going to click image inject a folder Ike. so now click save and click open so now we go in there zero zero is always going to be the default skin for a character okay always like I don't know where that I, I've never seen that not be it <laughs> so here we go ahead and go to Ike. this is the default skin just like that, we have Ryuko with a uh, Attack on Titan skin over the default Ike. And yeah. So, the cool part about this is if we know it's not, um, you know, corrupted, then we can install it with normally the other way I showed you earlier by opening up your. Um, custom build directory and putting it in through there and then replacing all the images and doing it properly this is just a quick way to be able to test it without having to you know mess everything in your build up so that covers pretty much everything that I wanted to go ahead and say I hope it was pretty simple for you guys um thanks all right uh, let me know what you thought